In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get insect breathing in Project Slayers. Let's get right into it. So the requirements are level 12 and 5,000 yen. And right here in the bottom left corner, this is where your level is. And over here is how much yen you have. So again, you'll need level 12 and $5,000. And I'm sure you guys how to get that. So if you head over to the Caribbean village, you can talk to this bad right here, Somi. And talk to Somi right here and go to quest number 3. Now, if you do quest number three, you get 80 XP and 40 wet, which is pretty good. So farm this quest over and over again. And not only that, but you also get like a free necklace if you kill him. So go kill Zuko and there's a 20% chance you get this necklace. All right, I killed Zuko and I'm pretty sure it's like a 10 to 50 second cooldown for the quest. So keep spamming that until you're level 12 and you have 5,000 bucks. So good luck. Once you have the requirements of 5,000 yen and level 12, this is what you gotta do next. So basically, I want you to follow my character. We're gonna start off at this village right here. And you can take out your map right here, right? And you can unlock the butterfly mansion. If you want to, bro, you can actually just unlock it with your map points and then take the horses right here but most of you guys are probably broke so i'm not gonna do that so you guys can just follow me i'm sure you guys where the shinobi trainer is to learn insect breathing so follow me and that's it going baby All right, so now we're at Baddie Shinobi. What you want to do is talk to his Baddie real quick. Uh, all right, I have a breathing right now. That's why. Hold on, hold on. R.I.P. Robux. All right, what you want to do now is talk to Mommy Shinobu. Oh, uh, yeah, it will cost you $5,000, like I said before. Go ahead and pay that real quick. And how's it going? All right, guys, so first thing we're going to do is target training. It's actually really easy. What you want to do is go over by the chairs, press E on your keyboard, and then just shoot all these, like, or put your mouse over these, like, targets right here and just click. Brush kind of nice with that though, okay? And there you go. I can talk to Shinobu again. That was really easy though. All right, so after you're done talking with Shinobu, go over here and go on the blue mats. And what's gonna happen is you see this. So now you see this yellow line. And what you want to do is whenever this yellow line goes over the blue rectangle right here, you press the white blue circle. So look at this. Like now and then. All right, so once you're done talking to Shinobu again, the baddie, just skip all the dialogue. And the next thing we're going to do, all right, so after you're done talking with Shinobu, the next thing you got to do is head over to that location right there. The next thing we're going to do is basically pull the boulder. But don't worry, I'm sure you guys how to do it. So how's it going? So you can pick this boulder or this boulder, doesn't really matter. Pick any boulder, press E on your keyboard, and that doesn't be like a little compass on the bottom of your screen. And follow the compass though. So if it's north right here, so I'll go north. So my compass says go straight, so we keep going straight. And I see like a little marker right there on my screen. 
and have the boulder go over the marker. There we go. And now what you want to do is go back to Shinobu. There we go. Alrighty, boys, we have made it back to the freaking butterfly mansion. Talk to mommy Shinobu, and we're good to go, baby. So after you're done, the next thing we're gonna do is the cup to the back rooms. There we go. And pick any go right here. So this one looks like, come on, let's see, hold on. Um, this one's a bad right here. Actually, no, they're all pretty ugly, I can't lie. Anyway, talk to one of these girls. So you see the little letters on my screen. What you want to do is just tap them on your keyboard. So on my keyboard, I see Y, F, B, L, L, B, and do it as fast as you can, and let's go. And each time you do it, though, your bar gets filled up. So you want to do it as fast as possible. And there, and bam, there we go. We're done. All right, talk to Shinobu again. And now we're on our last one. There we go, baby. Defeat the insect trainee. Let's go. We're about to fight a baddie right now. So let's go over here, and let's go. In my opinion, she's actually pretty easy, but it could be pretty hard for others. So I make sure you get some friends to help you do this. And fight the baddie right there. This baddie right there. I see her. I see her. I see her. Kill this baddie real quick. Oh, Lord. All right, there we go. And we're good to go. And now you have insect breathing, baby. Let's get it. So now if you want to use insect breathing, all you got to do is press on your sword. Now on the bottom right side, you can see all your breathing move skills. And if you want to get more breathing move skills, all you got to do is use insect breathing while fighting enemies. And you pretty much rank up your insect mastery. And that is how you get insect breathing in Project Slayers. If today's video did help you, make sure y'all smash the like button. Anyway, guys, take care. Peace out. And have a great day. Mm -hmm.